Enter his gates with thanksgiving in your hearts. Enter his courts with praise. Enter his gates with thanksgiving in your heart. For he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. Jesus has made me glad. Enter his courts with thanksgiving in your heart, for he has made me glad. Sing to the Lord and make music unto Him. Sing to the Lord with joy. Sing to the Lord and make music unto Him, for He has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. Jesus has made me glad. Enter his courts with thanksgiving in your heart, for he has made me glad. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, good afternoon to everybody and I welcome you once again to this Holy Eucharist live mass telecasted from Divyavani TV Center, Hyderabad, Ramantapur. I welcome all the family members along to celebrate and to participate in this Holy Eucharist. And this Mass is offered, first of all, for all the donors and their intentions. And particularly today, Archdiocese of Vishakapatnam from Vijayanagaram Parish, Corpus Fund donor Sri Gopu Shauri Reddy, and Srimati Annamma. They are offering this on their wedding anniversary for their good health, good future of all family members, and also for the departed souls in the family and as a thanksgiving Eucharist. Today's Rosary, Divine Mercy Chaplet, Holy Hour, Word of God, all these programs are being offered for this family and their intentions. So please pray for them. Katva Parish for the departed soul of Salibin Labalaredi offered by family. Archdiocese of Hyderabad, Bandaguda Parish on the occasion of birthday of T. Mary Veronica Srihita for good health and good future offered by their family. Diocese of Guntur, Gorantla Parish for good health promotion in her job and thanksgiving offered by Bhuma Vijaya Prasanna and family. So let us pray for their intentions and ask God's grace upon them. At the same time, today's lesson, 36th lesson, so we are almost coming to the close in a, a few days more. And I think, so let us today ask God and the lesson is world towards villages and ga, the man towards God. And ultimately we are spiritual beings in this world and Corona has taught us once again that we are spiritual beings. So let us pray for, I think this is the 35th day because yesterday father told it is 35th, so I thought it is 35th, so 36th today, so we made a mistake. Uh, so let us, we are all spiritual beings, and let us ask God in this Mass to transform us to spiritual beings. 
And let us feel sorry for those moments we have drifted away from God and sense of God uh, in our lives. And we're after the world. So let us pray for those moments and feel sorry for them. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my, in my thoughts, thoughts and in my words, in what, in what I, I have done, done and in what I failed to do, through my, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who always listen mercifully to your servants in distress, we humbly beseech you as we give thanks for your kindness, that free from all evil we may constantly serve you in gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. First reading, a reading from the book of Genesis, chapter 11, verses from 1 to 11. Now the whole earth had one language on the same words, and as they migrated from the east, they came upon a plain in the land of Shina and settled there. And they said to one another, Come, let us make bricks and burn them thoroughly. And they had bricks for stones, and built man for mortar. Then they said, Come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower with its top in the heavens, and let us make a name for ourselves, otherwise we shall be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. The Lord came down to see the city and the tower which mortals had built. And the Lord said, Look, they are one people and they have all languages. And this is the beginning of what they will do. Nothing that they propose to do will now to be impossible for them. Come let us go down and confuse their languages there. So that they will not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from there over the face of the earth and they left off buildings the city. Therefore it was called Babel because there was the Lord's confused. The language of all the earth, and from there the Lord scattered them abroad over the face of the earth. These are the descendants of the Shehim, where Shehim was 100 years. He became the father of Arpashad two years after the flood, and Shehim lived after the birth of Arpashad for 500 and years and had other sons and daughters the word of the lord thanks, thanks be to god My soul at the joy that I feel There is now dwelling in me my God Sing my soul at the joy that I feel There is now dwelling in me my God Through you, Lord, that I am every 
prayer every thought of mine comes from you lord divine sing my soul at the joy that i feel there is now dwelling in me my god sing my soul at the joy that i feel there is now dwelling in me my god lord it is your wish that i may by my life show people around how to love more and more sing my soul at the joy that i feel there is no dwelling in me my god sing my soul at the joy that i feel there is no dwelling in me my god The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Glory to you, O, o Lord. Matthew chapter eleven, verses seven to nineteen. As they went away, Jesus began to speak to the crowds about John. What did you go out into the wilderness to look at? A reed shaken by the wind? What then did you go out to see? Someone dressed in soft robes. Look, those who wear soft robes are in a royal palaces. What then did you go out to see? A prophet. Yes, I tell you, and more than a prophet. This is the one about whom it is written. See, I am sending my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way before you. Truly, I tell you, among those born of women, no one has risen greater than John the Baptist. Yet the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven has suffered violence, and the violent take it by force. For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John came, and if you are willing to accept it, he is Eliza who is to come. Let any one with the ears listen. But to what will I compare this generation? It is like children sitting in the marketplaces and calling to one another, "We played the flute for you, and you did not dance. We waited, and you did not moan. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say he has a demon. The son of man came eating and drinking, and they say, 'Look, a glutton and a drunkard.'" a friend of tax collectors and sinners yet wisdom is vindicated by her deeds this is the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ my dear friends once a priest catholic priest went to a barber i think now it's very very rare that we go because of corona but he went there and the barber had a, a good haircut for him and the priest asked what do i owe you and he said no it's on the house so you are a priest after all you are doing a lot of good work so it's on the house so then soon after maybe couple of days the priest passed by and handed him over a cover and saying thank you and after that after the priest left the barber looked into and there were 12 gold coins so the barber was very happy for saying it's a free haircut but he got 12 gold coins the next day came the pastor the minister for a haircut and the barber gave him a good haircut and the pastor asked what do i owe you 
And the barber said, no, it's on the house. So since you're doing good work, so we don't charge you. And pastor was happy. And then later, a day after, he was passing by and he handed him a purse in which there were 12 rubies. So the barber was so happy, and the next day, we see a rabbi at the barber shop. And barber had a nice haircut. You know who is rabbi, right? Jewish priest is rabbi. And uh, he asked, what do I owe you? No, it's a free haircut for you. And the barber said, yes, there's no need to pay. So he went back, and sooner in a day, there appeared 12 rabbis. So my friends, you know, today we are talking about corona and life lessons of corona. And this is the 35th lesson, I am told. And the lesson is world towards villages and men towards God. This is what is appearing to us visually because we saw people going, uh, coming from other countries back to home and people working as immigrants going back to their houses, to their own villages. And people even from Hyderabad and other places, cities, going back to their villages. And I thought, why to select this topic? Why did we select? And uh, what is the lesson? And it was a little difficult, but I thought it is very, very essential for all of us today. Because we need to interpret. We need to take lessons from what is happening in reality. Just before Corona, the word everybody spoke was globalization, globalization. People talked about the whole world as a global village. And my brother, who works for a daily national daily, he has toured not once, but more than once, many countries like America, London, um, Japan, Singapore, Asian countries, all, almost all countries. I have not visited, but he had visited because of his scholarship. And my niece just studied and finished 10th grade. She also went and visited America. Why I'm saying this? Globalization. Because when I was growing up, my village, Jagannathapuram, in a remote place uh, in Vijayawada, Krishna district. It was a big thing for me to go to Perangipuram in Guntur district to study. And when holidays came, we went to our grandma's house, that is my mom's mom's house, that is Talacheru. Father Velangani is also here, he hails from that village. So we used to take bus and then go to the nearby and then uh, we walk some time into the river and then take the boat then again we walk get down and walk and then we get to Talacheru and there was not even a road there when we were there but today you see there is one at least one person in every house who is abroad in America Australia Europe and our village is nothing compared to their village now. It has changed completely because of globalization. And today we have also urbanization. I think there are more people in Hyderabad from my village than in my village, if you count them. Urbanization, industrialization. And then we have information technology. This brought a lot of travel. 
and businesses. People today talk about business across the overseas. And residents, even residents, residents here, residents there, that country, this country. And you know a lot of parents at home and their children away, far away overseas. And we talk about chains today. You talk about anything, Demart, a chain, everywhere. More, fresh. Hotels, hospitals, also we have chains, schools, food. Worldwide, if you go to theater now, cinema hall, our public place, you don't get your own food that we used to have when we used to go to cinema in the olden days. We used to have bhaji and then, what is that called, samosa. But today we have corn, sweet corn and all kinds of stuff. It has become very global today. We talk about McDonald's, pizza, Kentucky Fried Chicken, like malls, Kia, all kinds of stuff. So, but all of a sudden with Corona, everybody started towards the village. Why this phenomena? Reverse trend. Why this reverse phenomena? Because even in a TV channel, we had a couple of employees who said, no, we'll stop. Because if we live, we can somehow survive. But we don't want to die coming to the TV channel because of Corona. What is this? From big to small. The world is big and the village is small. My dear friends, if you go to America for the first time, you will be baffled. Especially if you go to New York, my God. You see those buildings and structures. You think, oh my God, where did this come all about? But as we know, it is perseverance, endurance. It is that small heart, that small mind. So the story is the story of small heart. If you take the whole man, where does the life is contained. Where does life is con where is life contained? It is in the heart, small little heart, not even a morsel. Similarly, this is our story. This is our civilization. This is about the story of the soul, and that is the reason we have world towards villages and man towards God. Man is this much, but the soul is very little. And that's why in Mark 8, 36, Jesus says, What does it profit a man if he gains the whole world but loses his own soul? We may gain so many things worldwide. We are global. We are industrialized. We are urbanized. We are IT. We have so much. We are travel so much. We do so much business all over. But where does this Basics, the foundation, the principle, the big idea, it is nothing but God. That's what we call spirituality. World towards villages and man towards God. This is the spirituality. Deep down, when you go deep into the man, you are a spiritual being, my dear friends. That's why we seek, everybody these days ask me, including my friends, what is this? What does it mean? We ask for meaning. We ask for understanding. This is spirituality. Modernization has eclipsed this. And Corona is revealing it. Recently, before Corona, I attended a wedding, I think big time wedding, 100 crores, where they spent 100 crores. If you want to see everybody at one place, that was the destination. Because when I went there, I saw all the leaders, the political, the CMs, everybody. And I saw the whole, Hollywood, 
and i was told they had three days celebration one day sangeet where bollywood people came with flights special flights sangeet and then they had another day with a 10000 happy hour party and this was the biggest day the wedding we used to hear about kings sala having weddings and that was one of that and i was there 300 food stalls let me tell you one thing i was feeling out of place i felt it would be so nice to go home and eat because with so many people there but still you felt lonely today mega culture has set in into our society mega events and that is not enough what we have today is destination weddings because we have outscored the mega events because having too many people that also doesn't make us happy so we we are for destination weddings comparatively when i was a child there used to be weddings for weak people used to celebrate come together work together and today we have tent culture today evening is the wedding by morning the tent is put and night or the next morning the tent is removed and people come and before we come to know they go they leave what is the lesson where this love and affection the human relationships from mega to small what does that indicate the world towards the village what does that indicate the sense of security the sense of belonging we always feel that in our life we want to belong to we want to be united but we go we part our ways so today my dear friend god is wakening up to human relationships social distancing is to preserve or to prevent corona and preserve us from corona but are we not already following social distancing even before corona came what about us who are engaged all the time in mobile phones in the same family without communicating to each other today the world doesn't help us to focus on anything and today we can't put our mind for anything all superficial relationships my dear friends the so called facebook the two youtube and whatsapp almost 2 billion and 2 and a half a billion people platforms just they have come in 2008 and after and imagine what the impact they have on you and today with quarantine lockdown i would say thanks to lockdown we cannot meet anybody and that makes us to reflect what is this we feel longing we feel to belong but we never cared for it before corona we never cared to dedicate our time to our family to our friends we were more socializing we were in search of better pastures we went where the world went where the whole world was one village we conquered the whole world and today it's become materialized what chapter matthew 18 verse 20 says speaks of where two or three gathered in my name i am there god's presence is in unity in human relationships because it says if you ask unitedly with the one mind and i will give it to you my dear friends globalization has alienated us we let globalization alienate us alienate our parents 
but man needs human relationships and god has made man for human relationships man is a social being when i was a child i read i studied this lesson no man is an island by minu masani and he speaks of that man is able to fly like a bird in the air swim like fish in the water but not able to live with other people yes my dear friends today what is important for us is the social status is what we what we uh, what we get and what we make up of our life like how much we make money and the distance has increased because we are too much preoccupied making money getting properties and the parents are at home nobody to talk to them so today we need to ask ourselves what is my human relationships status and the second thing my dear friends in this whole process man has lost peace and he's trying to find that peace in the comforts because he's gone far away and he wants to create comforts this i have seen even in america people are happy with the big houses there million dollars houses huge houses swimming pools my dear friends we try to seek peace in our comforts and it is not there because we are more concerned about how to make money how to enjoy entertainment all these bad habits even come in and this is the way man cannot be satisfied and we have this is an information age another thing is this is an information age and man dedicates so much time to get information to be informed what we call today we have that phobia fomo fear of missing out information and that's why people go on texting people go on social media why you know because they miss they're afraid to miss and there is depression there is anxiety social anxiety that is called and it is like an addiction and today we have after corona families quarreling for netflix i heard tv addiction and it makes you numb it makes your pain numb temporarily but you can't get out of it and today people are interested in many activities they want this they want that morning this morning that and i tell you lot of divorces are happening because of these too many activities people wanted to engage in they don't have time for family to sink in relationships my dear friend it is like anesthesia only helps you for a while they are busy if we can comes they're busy not for the church not for some time self time silence no shopping eating entertainment friends and no time for anything and no time for solitude no time for aloneness no time for interior silence but man is basically a spiritual being this is what the saints have found out some some people don't like silence they want blast sound because they want to be not in dissatisfaction their minds are occupied they want to keep their minds occupied but our ultimate aim is god because saint augustine says our hearts are weary o lord until they rest in you man does not live by bread alone but by every word that comes from the mouth of god yes my dear friends second corinthians 47 speaks of we are having spiritual treasure in earthen vessels this body we have a soul and today we are longing 
that's what i said world towards village but man towards god and today we are longing for the eucharistic lord every day i feel bad when we when we pray for this spiritual communion but what happened when we had the physical communion possibility in the churches did we care to go to churches we did not have time did we have time to go now churches are closed no ringing of the bells everything is forbidden there is no mass and no mass no communion it's very sad we cannot do the public prayer together with community prayer community offering mass and you know the high point for a priest is in the day is the holy mass my dear friends holy mass and today it's gone so let us pray that we come back to the churches the churches will be open that we have this eucharistic lord earlier we have taken it for granted the churches and the eucharistic lord and today let us become that aware of that hunger for the eucharistic lord thank god today the vivani is reaching all the homes with eucharistic adoration for the last 40 days and it should bring back you to the church my dear friends and finally i want to tell you my friends let us surrender to god because it doesn't make any sense to us what is happening unless we surrender to god he is the only one who can give us meaning and purpose because he has created us just before march we thought of plans so many plans even we wanted to go to america everything collapsed and today marriages everything collapsed and so many people want to do this that inaugurations we want control on life but today we don't have control we have to wait so that's why we have to surrender so we are angry with this corona we don't know we are confused we have fear some people are even getting mad in this situation my dear friends romans 8:28 speaks of god can bring good from evil god can bring good from evil so if you believe that let us surrender to god and he can bring good out of this and lastly i end with this psalm psalm 23 speaks of valley time valley time we are in the valley it's a low life low key life valley is meant to lead towards a better place a higher place that's what the valley is about valley ends and then we get the higher plane and where there is more sun and more pasture and that's exactly what god is intending us in this corona time and he is there like a shepherd that's what david says hebrews 13 56 before that in verse 4 your presence lord is with me and hebrews 13 5 to 6 St Paul says do not be taken up by the greed for money and it cannot make you happy but be happy with what you have today the whole world we want globalization but lord let us be happy because ultimately the soul has to be happy with small things little things but if friends jesus comes with a staff and he beats little bit he gentle taps which is needed maybe corona is a gentle tap for the whole world to get back to the roots and the basics and the principles and the foundation and the source of life is god himself so my dear friends in china for crisis they use symbols for every word so two words two symbols are used danger one symbol and opportunity is equal to crisis So my dear friends this is a time where God is using Divyavani TV 
because basically God is telling us we are spiritual beings. And my dear friends, let us be awakened to that reality and pray in this Mass for that awakening. Loving Father, we ask you to bless our Pope Francis, our bishops and our priests, especially to awaken us to our spirituality and to our spirit, that we basically belong to you and we get our meaning only in you. And today you have taught us through Corona, man towards God. Lord, help us to help them, to help us through different ways, through their prayer and through their example and through whatever the ways that we may reach you. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also like to pray for all the families who are devastated, who have gone to villages, who have come home from foreign countries, who are immigrants and are at home, and who are finding difficult to get some meaning in their life, in their jobs, in their careers, because someone has died in their family. So let us, Lord, this is a valley time that you have allowed so that we can come to the higher plane. Lord, lead us to the higher plane. And meanwhile, Lord, it's a gentle tap. May we understand this with faith. And Lord, help us to come back to our relationships where we have lost them. Help us, Lord, to sacrifice, not to be engaged too much time in too many activities and not attend our soul and spirituality. Lord, help us today to surrender everything to you. And that is the only best way that we can be sane in this life. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray for our donors, especially at this time, that God may be with them in these difficult times. And God may grant <clears throat> all that they lack. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now I ask you to pray in silence for your own intentions. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Take thou the offering thy children make, all united for thy name's sake. Take thou the offering thy children make, all united for thy name's sake. Father Almighty God, we offer Thee this sacrifice. Show to us Thy mercy, O Lord. Forgive us the sins of all our lives. Take Thou the offering Thy children may all united for thy name's sake. Take thou the offering thy children may. All united for thy name's sake. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name for good and good of all his holy church. O Lord, who gave us your Son to rescue us graciously from death and from every evil, accept, we pray, in mercy the sacrifice which we offer you in thanksgiving for our deliverance from distress through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. 
Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving itself, your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the chorus of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with our Pope Francis and our Bishop Tumabala and all the clergy. Remember also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her chief spouse, May the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. My brothers and sisters, do not be greedy about money because that's the main thing that is driving us today. But I promise that I will be with you and that be happy, be contented. So let us ask for this, because today globalization is tempting us for, to have too many activities, to have too many comforts, and we are losing our soul. So let us not be lost in this drive for more, for better, for bigger. So let us call upon God, asking us to awaken our spiritual being in ourselves. And thank God for this corona that has helped us to see that. Praying to him, our Father, 
who art in heaven hallowed be, hallowed thy, be thy name, name. Thy, kingdom thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will, will be, be done, done on earth as it is in heaven give us, give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we as forgive, forgive those, those who trespass against us and lead, and lead us not, not into temptation, temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let's offer each other the sign of peace peace be with you Lamb of God, take, take away the sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant Lord us Jesus peace. Christ, Lord. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to his banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My brothers and sisters, I invite you to pray with me as you are about to receive Jesus, the Eucharistic Lord, in spiritual communion. My Jesus, my Jesus, I believe that you are present. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. In the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I love you above all things. And I desire and I desire to receive you into my soul. To receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment. Since I cannot at this moment. Receive you sacramentally. Receive you sacramentally. Come into my heart spiritually. Come into my heart spiritually. I embrace you as if you were already there. I embrace you as if you were already there. And unite myself to you holy. And unite myself to you holy. Never permit me to be separated from Never you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. As the dew pants for the water so so long soft you you alone are my heart's desire and I long to worship you you alone are my strength my shield to you spirit see you alone are my heart's desire and I long to worship you Almighty God, who taught this bread of life, who through this bread of life are pleased to free your servants from the bond of sin, and in your compassion to restore their strength, grant us to advance without hindrance towards the hope of glory, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us say this prayer to St. Troch, who is the patron of the sick, asking him, to safeguard us from this corona. O blessed Saint Rock. O blessed Saint Rock. Patron of the sick. Patron of the sick. Have pity on those. Have pity on those who lie upon a bed of suffering. Who lie upon a bed of suffering. Your power was so great. Your power was so great. When you were in this world. When you were in this world. That by the sign of the cross. That by the sign of the cross. Many were healed of their diseases. Many were healed of their diseases. Now that you are in heaven. Now that you are in heaven. Your power is no less. Your power is no less. Often than 
offer them offer them to god to god our sighs and tears our sighs and tears and obtain for the health we seek and obtain for the health we seek through jesus christ our through lord amen amen my dear friends today evening we have 6 o'clock the mass holy mass votive mass special mass with the theme world towards villages and man towards god it's a beautiful theme encourage your friends to participate those who can have know the language if not also and my dear friends you are welcome to offer masses as you may please and as i told you we have this program called the corpus fund or the perpetual mass today we have 4345 people have registered and we have 62 more vacancies only of course some people have registered it for the afternoon like today but you are welcome in case you want to donate 1 lakh rupees one time you can do it also in installments but let it be before december preferably possibly and i would like you you can offer this for your family or beloved one or for your own intention on any occasion that you would like to and we will offer six programs for your intention so hurry up and because we are all this also helps double you get perpetual mass and you get to proclaim the word proclaim jesus take jesus to every corner of the world and then it helps the corpus fund to maintain the channel continuously and the second thing those of you would like to contribute monthly or annually you're welcome through two fish and five loaves it's called direct debit form you can ask for it and we will mail it to you you can call the number 11 or 22 and my dear friends we are having some contests like caption contest and singing contest and also the life lessons that you have learned so i think you know the timings all that is given on the screen and many have shown enthusiasm many in fact many many so we wish that you participate on 31st because we have the holy mass on 31st as usual in the afternoon we have and the morning and evening is when the chairman most of the nudumal bala and the vice chairman bishop bagi of guntur will lead our cons- i mean celebrate the mass and then with which will be live and that will be a thanksgiving mass for this four years of divyavani tv blessings and if you want to offer mass please do so in advance please do so in advance so that we can read those masses in advance Uh, on that day so once again thank you for everything and god bless you the lord be with you and with your spirit may almighty god bless you the father son and the holy spirit amen let us go in the peace of christ thanks be to god bright and beautiful all creatures great and small all things wise and wonderful the good god made them all each little flower that opened each little bird that sing he made their growing colors He made their tiny wings 
All things bright and beautiful All creatures great and small All things wise and wonderful The good God made them all